Hello there, friend. We are live and we're going to jump in to do a flip through of the Good and the Beautiful's Simply Good and Beautiful Math cor Course K. These two items come in the course set. This one was an extra bonus that we'll check out. So let's jump right into the course book. There we go. If you're new to my channel, hi there. My name is Eileen from On the Same Page Together. We are a Christ-centered home of learning, and on this channel, we talk about all things family. We like to share what works for us as we strive to encourage you on your journey in life and family. I just got done doing a live of the handwriting level K, so if you want to check that out, it will be in the description box as soon as I'm done doing all of the lives, or you can find it on my channel. And I also have a flip through of the Good and Beautiful's Language Arts Level K on my channel that is already linked in the description box. I've also linked this curriculum if you want to grab it. And if at any point during the video, if I'm moving too slow or too quick, there is a little settings icon in the bottom right hand corner of the video that you can adjust the speed with. I am excited to get into this one. I have level two. Level two was one that I compared the new and the old versions with. I also have level four. I have a kiddo doing, kiddos doing both of those. And we have been enjoying them. So I'm looking forward to testing out this level. I've done level K and level one, as well as I believe level three in the discontinued version. And we enjoyed them, but I really am enjoying how simplified, which really is simply good and beautiful. I like how simplified these ones are, how little there is to do in the daily practice, and how many, like, they've reduced the amount of moving parts in it, and I really appreciate that. Moving parts in the sense of, like, go grab this book or this thing. Do this piece. It's all right here on the page for you. What you're going to need is right here minus sometimes a couple little things you need to grab or what you need out of the math box. But you should be able to easily grab what you need without digging through a bunch of stuff and losing your kiddos interest, especially at this age. Oh, there's how they're going to do pattern blocks. Okay. I did link the comparison of the old version and the new version in the description box. However, there are, and so you'll see how many different moving parts, but I don't think I have a flip through of level K in there or level one, but I have, I do have flip throughs actually of every, um, I don't have, think I have them linked individually. They're linked in a playlist in the description box. I do have flip throughs of every discontinued version, one through four. I believe is what I have on my channel, but it's all linked in the playlist there. You'll be able to pick them all out and see, but this level K, there's definitely a level K if you wanted to compare this version with that version, you could watch that one next. So, cause I, I can only guess that there are still some of the discontinued versions floating around in buy and sell groups. Or maybe you've picked one up, so you're comparing it with this. Having done both versions, I, do you like the old one? I wouldn't discredit it, but I appreciate how simplified this one is. And if you ever have any questions, please drop them down in the comments. I love being a part of your journey and do my very best to get back to you any comments on the replay as quickly as possible. And if you're here live, we can chat about them right now or at the end of the flip through. I don't know about you, but I love getting a complete view of what it is that I'm going to purchase before I purchase it. I'm more of like a touch and feel tactile person when it comes to purchasing something. So I love being able to go to the store and flip through it. But for those of us who are not right close to the Good and the Beautiful's warehouse, I like being able to find a video that shows me everything. And when I was looking for that kind of video online when we were first getting started, I was not finding it. 
So when I got comfortable with the Good and the Beautiful and knew that I was going to like what I got from them, I started doing flip-throughs for you guys. Really, actually, I think I did it from the very beginning. You probably see our very first set of homeschool curriculum on our channel. I just wanted to be able to share every page so that you can decide if this is the right fit for you and your kiddo. Let's see if there's a page in the middle. Any engagement that you can give with this video will help YouTube know that they need to push it out to others who are also looking for it. So you could give it a thumbs up, you could leave me a comment, ask a question, whatever. Share it with a parent or somebody who's looking for it. Whatever works for you would be very helpful. It's a free way to support this channel. All right, there's the course book. Let's take a look at the math box. So the level three math box is this cute and tiny little thing. I say tiny because the level two one, look at it. It's just so cute. So I have the level two one with my older kiddo. And I, I don't know. I just loved how miniature it was comparatively. So if we get into it here, get, get this out and toss it away before your kiddo grabs it. But you have these little cars. I'm going to let my kiddo open it when she gets to it. So I'm not going to open it here. But you can see clearly three little car pawns, which are so fun to use in the games. I sometimes, even if it's not a game, if I my kiddo's having a hard time with whatever concept in the book, I will see how I can pull these into it to make it a little more engaging for them. We have these number dice. They have a greater than, less than, plus and minus, equal. So it looks like we're probably going to be making equations with these, which will be fun. And then we have these. I'm going to guess these are the 10 sticks. You have little sticks in here. I don't know if you can see. They're like little 10 sticks, is my guess. We'll see when we get in there. And then actually, we can look at the front of the book in a minute. And these cute little, oh, you can't see them. Cute little pawn pieces. Look how adorable. I love the pastel colors in them. So that's what comes in the box. You want to hang on to this close by. Whenever you're doing it, I like to put all of the course set in like a magazine holder. I'm sure about that to show you guys, but I like to put it all in and keep it all in one place so that when something comes up that we need it, it's ready to go. No need to go looking for it. So here at the beginning of about this course, it says that you'll need the course book, the math box, a pencil, crayons, of course, whiteboard and dry erase marker. Honestly, I like to just write it in the book. Like they'll say, write the equation. I don't, I don't know. If you get in here and it's like, write, the, write this equation that's already in the book, I usually point it out in the book. But you can have a whiteboard if that works for you and your kiddo. Or you can just write it in another place on the book on the page. If it's small and hard to point out, just write it in an empty space for them. If carrying around a whiteboard or your, your magazine holder, wherever you keep it, isn't quite big enough for that, or you're worried about the marker, getting on other places that are not so dry erase, you can do it other ways. You can adjust. And then you have 10 pennies, 10 nickels, and 10 dimes are recommended. I really wish they would have included them in here because they have them in the math two box. We have all of that. And I love that because then your hands don't get all smelly. But my kiddo needs them for her school. So I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. Maybe I just won't have them do math at the same time and I'll pull this out. But if you don't have an older kiddo, maybe look into just grabbing some fake money and stashing it in there with them so that you don't have to get their hands all smelly and your hands all smelly while you're doing school. So that's what they want for you to have available. And let's check out this Anteater edition. So this I got because they were doing the Black Friday sale. And if you buy the course set, you can get this. They also have Snowy Owl Subtraction. And I was just, my kiddo was ready for a level K soon. She's about, uh, she's about a third of the way through. Level K, oh, what do they call it now? Kindergarten prep. And so I figured I'd grab this while it was on Black Friday sale and grab this too. So we'll check this out. If I like it, I'll probably grab Snowy Owl Subtraction, but I'm just... I don't know. Flashcards are just not my kids thing. I do have the flower one that I showed in the botany flip through 
And this one, I don't have yet because that probably comes with the birds, is my guess. They have a bunch of different games. So if this is a game and she's into it, then I'll probably get the Snowy Owls attraction because we love owls at our house. But since this one came free, I figured why not? Okay, odd and even numbers. And then you have the cards. Oh, yeah, it's just flashcard style, guys. So I'm guessing that this is just going to be like a flashcard that I already have. Well, actually, I have multiplication flashcards, not addition flashcards. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how she likes it. Ooh. Honestly, I would probably say that if your kid was not into flashcards, try and find life like daily life applications for addition. If you give them a snack, you can ask how many of this do you have and this added together kind of thing. I don't know. You give them fruit snacks and some veggie straws. How many veggie straws do you have? How many fruit snacks do you have? How much do you have all together? That kind of thing. Or you have how many red Legos and how many blue Legos and then add them together. Addition and subtraction, well, subtraction not so much, but addition is definitely something that you can very easily incorporate into their play. I don't know that I will need flashcards, but it was fun to check it out and show, if you, show you. If your kid is a flashcard kind of kid, this will be great for them. All right, if we have any questions, I don't see that. Go ahead and check out the links in the description box or check out the handwriting flip through that is on my channel. It's a link in the description box if you're on the replay and I'm not and I have finished my lives tonight. Up next, we are going to be doing the new updated science, space science unit from the good and the beautiful. I'll see you there.